Hello, I hope you're well. Welcome to another video. I tried to do this video yesterday and it all went wrong. So I'm trying again. It's just a bit of a little spooky chat uh, about some things that have gone on this week for me and um, which you may find helpful if you're, you know, coming into your awakening and you're um, seeing strange things go on around you. So I thought we'd have a chat about that as well. So if you're new here, please give this video a thumbs up if it resonates with you and um, a subscribe. And I want to say a big thank you to all of my subscribers out there who are really supporting me at this time when I've experienced another loss, my brother, uh, my estranged brother. And um, yeah, just in everything, uh, it's been, it's, it's really good to have you here and I love all your comments. So thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so what's been happening? Well, apart from the obvious, finding out about my brother, who I was estranged from, uh, they didn't tell me he died three weeks after my mother in April. Uh, well, she died in April, he died in 24th of May. So yeah, I've had some strange things, and yes, he's actually been around. He's actually communicated to me via music, Robbie Williams in particular, uh, because if there was anybody who reminded me of my brother, it was Robbie Williams. So <laughs> it's very like that. And um, it, it's it's kind of strange because I get this all the time. I've had a lot of my family around me, my mother in particular, uh, because we, we didn't speak uh, for a few years. And um, anyway, uh, so I was watching... I love K-pop, okay? Yeah, I love it. I'm obsessed with all things Korean, as you know, and Chinese, Japanese as well. <laughs> Absolutely love it. See, it's in my um, in my stories as well, and um, I'm going to tell you about that in a minute too. So I was sitting watching some K-pop with my... Um, we even watched... Uh, if you're in the UK, if you've watched Ramesh and... Um, I can't remember the other guy's name where they go and do things. Uh, they find out what it's uh, like to do, say, crufts, whatever, things like that, and get involved. Um, you know, they have to be taught how to do it. Well, they did K-pop. They went to Seoul and did K-pop, which is hilarious. So check that out if you're in the UK. <laughs> I think you can get it on iPlayer, is it, or ITVX? I'm not sure which side it's on. Anyway, um, so I'm sitting watching K-pop and... The comments about that I actually had to watch a wasp song did you if if you're from the 80s you remember wasp <laughs> clam rock or something he was into um wasp and all of that all the heavy metal stuff that was around at the time and uh he was just picking these bands apart as I sat there watching them but he gave me a song as well, uh, which was really interesting, called No Regrets by Robbie Williams, which uh, was very, especially the line. <laughs> I can't remember how it gets up to, up to, but it's basically I knew something was wrong when you didn't like my mother. So my my mum and my brother were very close, caused a lot of problems, but there you go. And um, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was really interesting <laughs> and yeah so it's, that's been a, yeah that's been a big thing for me I've still got my mother around me all of my um family have been around I've been seeing my uncle and aunt who died well my uncle died 89 in, and she died a year before because we were married so uh, I'm a bit frightened what's going to happen to me, <laughs> to be honest, because a lot of my family don't seem to, you know, my, step, my dad's still going. That's another story. But he's still going and he's um, see, 90, 89, 90. Whereas um, my mother was a lot younger. And um, but my grandf uh, my grandfather died two months after my grandmother. I have been going through this crap, this tornado in my life. Tornado, it's been about 10 tornadoes since 2007. Since 2007, my grandmother died. I blame you, Grandma, because ever since you died and left me alone, I've had all of this crap. I've had, a, there's been a divorce in the family. There have been, um, with me, um, there and my brother got married, but there was a divorce, 
um, there's been um, uh, on my ex-husband's side, his father died. Uh, uh, my son revealed he was transgender. Um, I, uh, my grandfather died two months after my grandmother. Then my mother's died. My, within 15 years, I saw a, my brother's died. It's just like I'm not speaking to them. I, I There's been a divorce. I've left my home. At, and that's what happens. You get this big change. I had a medium friend who told me that basically I um, had been fast-tracked through a big change. But it's still ongoing from what I can see. And I, I've had some things revealed to me that I need to sort out about how I let people treat me. So um, really, uh, thanks to Scorched Earth Tarot, realized i've always known but it's you have to face this you've allowed some of these things to happen to you because you didn't stand up for yourself it's very important that you do and you do have to put yourself uh first sometimes this giving 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 it does not work all the time uh you have to hold back a bit for you because otherwise you'll be run into the ground and this whole experience has, has taught me that and i want you to to grasp that and of course i know you already know that if you're in this situation or a similar situation but it's you need to smack yourself in the face with it basically <laughs> it's the only way and that's what happened to me so that's been very interesting i did i have been very down for the past few days and i said uh, said to myself this morning right it's time you could pick yourself up off the floor and go on with it <laughs> that's got to get you've got to get on with it i have been very angry at this lot uh they've been no i don't know they get like that you know when I'm, i i go off it on my mibs but um yeah well that's another story but uh you have to pick yourself up off the floor and it's great my son's been fantastic but um he said something he spelled it out for me this morning as well <laughs> the voice of the young <laughs> So, um, yeah, let's get, get on with it. And, um, you know, it's it's going to hit me uh, a lot. But I, sometimes you just have to face rejection and say, well, your loss, your loss. So, uh, but I did have an experience, very strange experience. I mean, I had the Oppenheimer experience of everything exploding in the cinema when I was there and all the visions. Uh, I have... Um, I've seen people wandering around here. It felt like they were showing me in an atomic explosion as well. I've I've seen some very strange things about that. And it feels like my life was in an atomic explosion. I, I had personal issues through the week as well. So boy, when they change it, you go through a transition. And I believe Sagittarius and Sagittarius. Now Sagittarius is my moon sign. And boy, are we going through it at the minute so um a transition sagittarius and aries as well now i ident identify more with aries and um one system of the um astrology uh i actually a taurus uh but i identify i mean i'm a couple of days um off aries uh in one system i can't remember the names i'm learning about astrology at the moment and but i identify more with aries and I think that's what the trouble was in my family. There were so many Aries. <laughs> boom, 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 fire. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And I had, anyway, I had this uh, experience where I, I wanted to tell you the other day, and I don't think I got it out. Uh, basically, I've been waking up in the morning, and you can get on this level, and uh, you've got to really, you know, get yourself empowered again. And it, which is why I'm doing coaching. This is what I want to do for other people. If you're interested in that, links are in the description. And um, basically, I have been seeing myself get up. All I can say is, I told my son, every time I wake up after all the people I've seen and the weirdness that goes on around me, I um, I get this thought in my head. I just want to get up, get out of here go down the street and run as fast as I can and not stop. 
and it's been coming to me for a while before I found any of this information out, everything. And was it Saturday night? Where are we Sunday? It wasn't Saturday, it was the night before Friday, I think. And um, I was just sitting here watching the TV and all of a sudden, well, I think I went in the back as well. And I just got this, that I'd got up, part of me had got up. It was like, I was doing it, yet I was still here. I didn't have any shoes on, nothing. And I got up, ran out of here. And I've seen myself go off and do things. That's how you astral travel. And it's part of you. And they come back and they just sit in you. It's not, it's it's really weird. But I, I saw this person, me, go outside and in barefoot just run and head towards the station. And uh, what the really strange thing was, I could hear my bare feet banging on the pavement. I could feel it, I could see it. It really freaked me out. And I was just running and I didn't know what to do. I've, I've had a few times where I felt like I'm really, really panicking. But that's what transition brings for you. You just gotta breathe through it. But um, it's gonna put you in a more empowered place. You've just got to hold on tight. You know, I'm, I'm seeing a tornado and somebody holding on. And um, I then, then they, this part of me came back and they sat in me. And it was one of the strangest things I've ever had. The other thing I had this week, which I'll, if you're interested in fully awakening and getting your psychic development gifts going, uh, once you open uh, a game, I do that as I've co uh, as coaching. Thanks below. Um, but basically, this was really fascinating for me. I was doing some work and um, the TV was on, and there was an advert for something kept coming on a TV program. I don't know if it was FBI or something. I can't. I can't remember. And I kept seeing somebody with a wanted poster. And I'm hopefully going to show you here. Uh, no, I no, I tried working this out the other day. If it doesn't work, I'm trying to um, get better at doing my videos. If it doesn't work, if it hasn't worked, then I will put it at the end. OK, but uh, hopefully you will see it here. And basically. This advert was going on and on. It wasn't until my son came in. And he was doing something. Then the advert came on. He went, what's that? And it, it had passed over. And he said, why ain't that back? So I had to go back. Well, he did. I can't remember now. I stopped it on this wanted poster. And on the wanted poster was my mum's name. <laughs> Elizabeth Keane. Okay, Keane was her maiden name. And um, I couldn't believe it. Wanted. And it had on the bottom caution. <laughs> That's what gets me caution. This was before I found out about my brother. So whether they were trying to get through, but I feel like, uh, I mean, him. Uh, to be honest, I don't know how he died because no, I'm going to be polite here. Person will tell me, but I presume it was to do with grief and some Ill uh, some illness with the grief. I I I don't know, but I know that you can die. Um, it puts strain on the heart and that's why you'll get the next day or whatever somebody close to that person will die because and that's why they call it um, died of a broken heart it is actually a thing it's real and uh, so that kind of thing must have happened because it was three weeks after um, so it was before that so whether they were trying to get through I don't know because but the mibs might have stopped them because of that kind of thing where I was very wound up about my mum's death and the way it was all, all done and dealt with. So maybe it's come out at the right time. It didn't feel like the right time to me. I wish I'd known. Uh, so anyway. Um, so I don't know if it was something to do with that. Now I have had an experience before where she's used the TV when I was watching to Everywhere Everything All At Once. And um, where she says, I am your mother, the whole TV lights, everything um, on the TV and the sparkly lights all went off. 
Now I've just got a little purpley um, white light on my nose there so, to confirm that. I don't know if you saw it. But um, so she used the TV. That was her thing. She watched the TV a lot because she was stuck in the house and she watched loads of movies. So uh, I don't know if they were trying to get through. And um, But this thing. And then said the name. And I hadn't even registered it. I was too busy working. Um, my um, son said, they've just said, wanted Elizabeth Keane and they showed it and it's on the um, wanted poster. So I thought that was really, <laughs> I thought it was really funny. So, um, yeah. And um, very strange dreams, the Oppenheimer thing. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Dry throat. Uh, has been massive. Lots about that. Awful. Like there's tap. That is very important. I've seen um, so many explosions. I had somebody with a uniform on came out of the dimension thing at the bottom, you know, Narnia, I call it, down the bottom of my room, walked through the dimension bit towards me, in break, and keep getting Graves, Leslie Graves, who's in the, the movie, the art me uh, guy. And, um, but he had braid. Now, I have a brigadier, I don't, I don't know, but breed um, on his uniform, you know, like hanging off. And he showed me um, a circle and an atom thing in the middle. And then I was, it, something to do with stars as well and atoms and going round and round. It was like an explosion and it was to do with the stars as well. So I'm just hearing dwarf star. This will become a dwarf star. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. There'll be more information on that during the week, I think. I hope. Because you can't leave it just like that. So anyway, I thought I'd share these experiences with you. Because once you open yourself up to receiving messages, you can't go back. Um, some people have been worried that they're seeing uh, people at MIBS on the TV and what have you. you that can happen. Because we forget that guides and angels will go with their charge wherever they are. So actors, you know, my mum once saw, uh, when I told her about what I was experiencing, she saw, experiencing, she saw the outline of uh, a man in black uh, or somebody standing next to one of the news presenters from Sky. And... Um, she was shocked. Now, I know somebody has contacted me about they reckon they're saying something. Yeah, you, you may well do. Uh, that means that your guides are angels, your protectors, or are trying to show you something within that program that they want you to pay attention to. Or they can just do it. Um, they are around. I've seen my lot. And they can go back in time to certain when the thing was being filmed, everything. I've had that experience. I've seen them do that. And they they once they go wherever. I've you know, I've I went to see Joan Collins once and when she did a one woman show and it was fantastic because I love her. She's great. And um I could see the stage and I could see my mibs walking around the stage looking for anything that shouldn't be there. That was hilarious to me. She had no idea they were there. And they were walking around and I'm thinking, oh my God, you'll be seeing, you'll be seeing. <laughs> it was so funny. They've done that on Tony Stockwell stage as well. I don't know if he saw them, but if he did, he didn't say anything. But they're always like that. You know, like protection, close protection, that kind of thing. Close, God, sometimes get too close. But, um, so, yeah, they, they will do things. I once saw um, when Boris Johnson was doing his brief uh, to the nation when and COVID and was doing it almost daily or daily for a while. And they had this new briefing room and everything, press room. And um, it was quite funny because I could see. Oh, they're just making me uh, say that. It's like that, um, that pop video of 50 Cent. Um, um, that, and that guy that I mentioned before, it wasn't 50, it was his video, but it was the group this with, ah, oh, with Eminem. I can never remember their name. They were brilliant. Anyway, one of them, 
50 cent video i was in the back <laughs> they slot they were in the back and it was hilarious because there's boris johnson with her. and i can see my men in black standing now <laughs> moving around trying to find out information or something i don't know but they were there so yeah that can happen but don't be frightened about it you're protected yeah it's um and you're just you're just opening up more and and saying these things it can be quite amusing um i've i've watched programs and i've thought i'm always worried about people doing these ghost things and oh my god they're on their own shall we go and help yes please off they go and then you can see them appear it's very very strange However, you know, wacky it sounds, they can do it. They can access time. I think we can, we just don't realise we can do that. So uh, if you want your gifts brought out, I can help you do that, okay? Uh, links are in the description below. And if you want to join my circle, which I'm desperately trying to get going, uh, the link to that is in there as well. If you want to get in contact with your angels a bit more, want help with that, contact me about that we can do coaching for that as well okay lots to do the biggest thing i want to tell you as well is this is again this is a bit of coaching you must watch out for opportunities brought by your guides angels uh sometimes they can just pass you by and i had a thing from ink it come which is a platform for writers to put their work on and I ignored it and they said, oh, we're doing subscriptions, uh, memberships like they do on YouTube. And I thought, yeah, yeah, I've been so down about my writing. And um, I ignored it a week or so later. Well, this week, a few days ago. Oh, you're all set up for your memberships. Come and create them. OK, so I went on there. Now, it's pilot scheme for me here as my son would say so i've put some of my work on created memberships and uh, because i've been pushed to write they keep the mibs keep showing me books they keep showing me characters i think they're just like dressing up in the costumes personally but you know because that's how they fuel my uh creativity and they're channeled messages so they're involved it's not just me writing them it's them so it's our work and so I've created these memberships and I've been able to put my older work on. I can start putting new stuff on um, and they're channeled messages. So I love it if you go and take a look. I'm waiting for everything being approved at the moment because like YouTube, you have to have everything, your stories approved. I've put chapters on there and uh, check it out. So I'll put a link to it. Uh, I'm not sure you can access them yet or join yet, but um, I will certainly let you know uh, in a community post and I'll let you know in the videos as well because they are channeled messages. All right, maybe the romance. Well, I don't know. They keep showing. It's hilarious. They want, they want me to write when they want me to write. They want me to write about love as well and romance, okay? So they'll show me a man and a woman snogging in the corner. It's hilarious. I keep saying, get a room. When I've been so jaded with my writing. Get a room. <laughs> Don't snog near me. <laughs> and when I was doing the um, naughty stuff, the ideas. I mean, I would write a certain thing and then, no, how about this? And they would show me it. That's what, oh. And uh, another one of them, my main guide would, um, I'm just seeing somebody all on there. Do you like to wash the dishes? Yeah, go and help. Anyway, <laughs> it's to drive me mad. They're like people standing around. Well, they are people standing around. And I know they don't show me everyone. I had a very strange dream the other day where I was looking into, um, I was somewhere, I was with my mum and dad actually in the dream and I could see into another place and it was me lying in bed and all these people sitting around. And that's the reality. I feel like I'm on a holiday in Star Trek. <laughs> anyway, um, so uh, yeah, the ink it thing is uh, it's a big, big thing for me. So yeah, the romance, 
uh, is going to be on there. But all the things I've talked about, the plane, the plane, I know I have to write about that as well. And that will be all available on there. And Amazon can't have all my work. That greedy Mr. Bezos can't have all of my work. So he can use bits of it to um, get his little fun for going up in space. Amazon treat authors like crap. They really do. So uh, they forget, you know all about the reader, but they forget that the uh, readers and book buyers are actually authors as well. So I uh, should treat us a lot better, but they don't. I reminded them of that once and I got everything I wanted. <laughs> mm, support team gave me everything like that. <laughs> so, But it's true. Anyway, so uh, oh, it's fantastic to be writing a game because uh, I think... Sometimes you need a bit of an escape. You can journal to help yourself and get things out, but there's nothing like writing a story and escaping. So I highly recommend that. If you're feeling low, it could be anything. It could be a fan fiction. It could be anything. Uh, and put it on something like Ink It. You don't have to create tears. You just put the story on. Or whatever you want to do with it, keep it to yourself. But I highly recommend it. So, yes, I'm writing again until it stops again and then start. Stop, start, stop, stop. Everything is timed down to the last second. Yeah. Oh, OK. So I just got a spirit doctor here who wants to remind you that healing is here as well. You can come to me for healing. OK. <laughs> that link in the description. How many links do I have to give? Okay, anyway, um, so I shall, I've got to go now. I shall see you again. Take care of yourselves. Bye.